Hey everyone, I'm Ed and this is an instructional video to show you how you can make your very own mini dinghy for challenge number two. What you'll need is some kind of small container. This one used to hold soft cheese. Some sellotape, of course. You'll need some wooden skewers. You could use straws, but wooden skewers are a bit more environmentally friendly. You will also need a good ball of blue tack. Lastly, you'll need something that you're going to make the centerboard out of. And I'd recommend using either an old milk carton like this, or I'd really recommend, if you have it, a few pieces of Lego, which you can create a really nice shape out of. So step one, make a small hole in the middle of the lid of your tub. A really good tip is to have a piece of blue tack underneath, and you can actually use the sharp end of your skewer to push a hole through and the blue tack underneath means that you don't go through your table. Let's go for two skewers through the hole now. There we go. Now I'm gonna break off a really good chunk of my blue tack. This is gonna weigh the bottom of my boat down, which is gonna help its stability in the water, which is gonna make it less likely to capsize. Ooh. Lid on. Let's just check this. Oh yeah. And now for the all important sellotape. So in terms of the size of the boom, the bit that goes outwards, we probably want it to be about 12 to 15 centimetres, but you can experiment with different sizes. Luckily skewers are not too hard to cut. Now I need to attach them and again, sellotape is really useful in this case. Just a touch to keep it kind of together for now like so. And now I've got to do something quite clever where I'm going to put both of these sticks either side of the mast and then loop some sellotape around it on this side. I stuck it to the table! Oh yeah, this is going very well. Luckily for both of us, this doesn't have to be very neat. Oh yeah. It looks like a boat. Already! Already! So what I can do is I can put my mast over the top of a piece of paper, line up my mast. I only have to make one cut across the paper. So, here's a nice trick. You can wrap it around to give it a nice smooth profile that will be cutting through the air. I seem to have stuck it to my fingers. Oh. Can you see that again, I've created that really nice curve shape in my sail there. Bosh. So the last stage of this is to attach a center board. And that's something that sits beneath the water and stops the boat from slipping sideways. If you don't have one of these, it just won't work. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either cut a piece of plastic from a bottle. You can use cardboard, but it's likely to turn to mush. I would really recommend finding a piece of Lego and attaching it to the underside of your container. It doesn't have to be Lego. The good thing about this though is that it's made from plastic and plastic does very well in water. There's only one thing left to do now. Let's get tested. <laughs> Pop this in the water. She floats. Level one is getting my boat to sail forward when the wind is behind it. Level two is getting the boat to sail when the wind is coming across just adjusting sail. Level three is getting it to sail forward when the wind is coming from slightly in front of the boat. Just the sail trim again. That definitely went forward. Did you see that? Make sure you share your experiences with us using the hashtag Sail GP or Sail GP Inspire.